What's up guys, my name is Boise Tupas and today I will guide you on how to enable G-Sync in Windows 10. First, you need to double check and make sure that your monitor has either G-Sync, FreeSync and or Adaptive Sync technology and you need to turn them on. Before I show you the steps on how to enable G-Sync, your monitor needs to belong in one of these three categories. G-Sync Ultimate Monitors and G-Sync Monitors uses NVIDIA processors. Therefore, they are more expensive. G-Sync Compatible Monitors uses AMD processors, meaning they come with FreeSync and Adaptive Sync technology. They are also a lot more cheaper compared to G-Sync Ultimate Monitors and G-Sync Monitors. Just for clarification purposes, not all FreeSync monitors or Adaptive Sync monitors are G-Sync compatible certified. They need to be tested by NVIDIA against their GeForce gaming platform and of course they need to pass. In this tutorial, I'm going to use my ASUS VG279QM gaming monitor. This monitor is G-Sync compatible as shown here. If you want to see a list of monitors that has G-Sync Ultimate, G-Sync and G-Sync compatible, just click this link here and you should see something like this. You can use this page to look up your monitor or another monitor that you're interested in. So let's look for our monitor, press Ctrl F and type in VG279QM and there it is. So this is my monitor. It's the ASUS VG279QM. It is G-Sync compatible and the recommended input is a display port. The minimum GPU driver requirement is 441.41. Speaking of GPU drivers, let's go to GeForce Experience. Click on drivers, click check for updates, and install the latest driver available to you. Once you're done, X out and restart your gaming PC. By the way, don't forget to turn on your monitor's G-Sync or FreeSync or Adaptive Sync from your monitor's settings. Now, let's go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Right click on your desktop and choose NVIDIA Control Panel. Now, let's go to 3D Settings and let's choose Manage 3D Settings. In Global Settings, let's scroll down and look for Vertical Sync. And let's change the value to Off and let's click apply now let's go to display section and choose setup G-Sync let's enable G-Sync and let's choose enable for full screen mode And in here, make sure this is checked. Enable settings for the selected display model. And click apply. You just enable G-Sync. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.